Yeah, look what we didn't did. We got Poetry in Motion cards dropping for our first drop for season two. We got Codwell Pope as the prize for, for dominations. But the biggest news right now, the biggest thing that we're talking about is we have upgrades to our prizes that we can win through season two for Triple Threat Park and for Showdown Mode. We were asking for this. The community spoke out and asked for this. And this is what we can go ahead and do. Look, Triple Threat Park, you get five wins, you get an 84 plus overall premium player. I hope that these are sellable. 10 wins, you get an 87 plus overall player. 25 wins, you get a 90 plus. At 50 wins, you get 25,000 my team points. 50 wins, that's a lot of wins, but 25,000 my team points, I mean, you're gonna be playing Triple Threat anyway. Go ahead and get to it. At 100 wins, you get you a diamond hidden gems pack. That's worth it. I mean, these prizes are all worth it. I'm saying 150 wins, you get a season two Hall of Fame badge option pack. 50,000 MTP, 50,000 my team points for 200 wins. That's a lot of wins, but I mean, a win is a win, right? You 500 wins, you get a Hidden Gems 95 plus overall award pack. I think that that, and a Legend Badge. Let me not, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it too small. A Legend Badge with that. That's crazy. Look, I think that this is outstanding. Okay, in Showdown, you get, we get our awards in Showdown now. So we getting, so we get awards for winning. I really would like getting something just for playing the game, period. But I mean, it seems like you got to go out here and perform and win to get these prizes. I think that these could be, I mean, at least for Showdown, it could be more like Unlimited and you could just get your prizes out right for playing the game mode. 15 wins gets you an 87 plus overall premium. 87 overall premium pack and an 84 plus overall premium pack. Two 84 overall packs. And this is, wait, wait, wait. I'm reading this all wrong. They got this laid out kind of thick. It's a lot of prizes with these. 15 wins, you get an 87 plus overall premium pack. An 87 plus overall premium pack. They, they typed that twice. An 87 overall and an 87 plus overall. Two, 2K, I don't know. My team, I don't know what y'all doing here. Okay, you also get an 84 plus overall premium pack times two. You get an 84 plus overall pack times two. They just said the same thing twice. Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they just typed it out wrong. I'm not tripping. Y'all tripping. 2K, you're drunk. Go home. Kobe. Either way, you get 5,000 MTP. That's for 15 wins. Then 60 wins. That's a huge jump to 60 wins. You get a Hidden Gems Amethyst pack. An 87 overall premium pack times two. An 84 plus premium pack times three. A Poetry in Motion Deluxe pack times five. Bronze, silver, gold option pack, pick five, and 25,000 MTP. For 120 wins, you get a Hidden Gem Diamond pack, a Season 1 Super pack, 20 box, a Hall of Fame badge option pack, and 50,000 MTP. And for 250 wins in Showdown, you get a Hidden Gems 95 plus overall award pack and a Legend badge. I think for 250 wins, you can get some, you should be able to get some MTP for that too. You should get like 100K. 250 wins is a lot. That ain't no, that's not a small feat. So, I mean, we lucked up with that. I do feel like they could be giving us these prizes just for participating in the game and playing the game mode anyway. Like, like, like it could be like Unlimited was last year where you just, you play the game, you get points towards these prizes and you go up. I want to see what the community is saying about what's going on here. Oh, Shakedown is like, what? 500? 500 500 wins that's a lot that is a lot i mean they're not asking for no they're not asking for no uh no bing bing okay so the grinders are ready to grind i mean okay carlos said they cooking lethal 2k said a big w a ladder but 200 showdown wins is kind of crazy right here yeah, breakout or are they doing anything for breakout why didn't they put anything for breakout in here i do get with that wow there was this where was this season one finally a w Okay, I mean, we had to let them cook. They had to hear the feedback and see what we wanted. They actually had to do that. They had to see what we wanted. So it is what it is at this point. At least we getting something. I mean, I hate to sound like a complainer. I hate to sound like I'm complaining about it, but at least we getting something. You know what I mean? I would like a little more. I would like a situation like in a showdown to be more or less 
I would like it to be more or less like salary cap is. I'm not going to lie. Like you just, I mean, okay, 500 wins. Yeah, cool. 250 wins. Yeah, cool. But at the same time, you can be working towards prizes just by playing the game mode, period. And then I, I, honestly, that 250 wins, that hidden gems with the 95 plus overall award pack and that legend badge, that could be a little beefier. That could be a little beefier. They could they could put 100K, they could put 100K MTP with, with that. I'm, and then they could have a 500 win spot here too. I'm not gonna hold you. I mean, but what is a 95 plus? A 95 plus is a, a opal that's a galaxy opal what is that that's a that's got to be a, a pink diamond galaxy opal right that's got to be a galaxy opal either way y'all let me know in the comment section where that is because i'm not in game right now i'm over here okay but in other news with my team news we have dominations awarding us with contavious kai will pope i can't wait to get to this card i don't know how stacked the lineups are going to be to get to this card but hopefully it's not too pressure i mean because i had a hard time with the the overall all-time teams i had a real hard time with them i have not even started those guys yet i finally have a lineup that can get with those cards all diamond lineup that can get there so i want to see if i can make a push in season two for the all-time teams and i'm definitely gonna do this abc uh dominations play my way through these and earn this contivious codwell the pope the second or the third i don't don't listen to me listen to me but not with that i'm i'm doing a lot okay poetry in motion Kobe. poetry in motion looks like a w first of all i see jimmy butler here kevin durant and moses malone i'm not putting too much stock into moses malone but i do want to pull this kevin durant jimmy butler might be a gym too but i definitely want to pull this kevin durant he is a monster in this game the diamonds that i see that go along with this let me see uh let me see what we're talking about here Tim Hardaway, Kyle Lowry, Jamal McGlore. I don't know anything about, bro. I'm not familiar with his game. We got a Mono Ginobili in here and Apollo Bancaro. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good so far. Um, I mean, we can key key a little bit about this, but at the end of the day, I gotta see what the community's talking about. Let's go get some locker codes. Okay, Carlos still giving away locker codes. He's still locker coding it up. Um. What are we saying? Apollo, okay. Henry the Blazian is saying Apollo Blanquero is gonna be just as good as hit the Pink Diamond, if not better. Okay, I can I can hear that. I hear that. Kevin, Wayne, Durant. I've been waiting for this. Okay, you've been waiting for Durant. The North remembers. <laughs> Floki is crazy. You know what? Lori gonna be the troll card. Okay, Sauce thinks Lori's gonna be the troll card. Um, Carlos looking for higher pack odds. I mean. I'm not going to lie to you. We could get some better pack odds, but you know 2K is not going to give us better pack odds. They're going to keep it at 1% for the top of the top. Maybe 3%. Who knows? Um, this good sir here, Shiro says, even though the pacing started off a bit much, now it's paying off. I can run my pink, my point guard, Giannis, Braun, and Wade for S2 and still not worry about these drops until Opals come out. I mean, eh. Bro thinks the diamonds are chunks. He thinks that the diamonds, Mr. Triple Threat thinks the diamonds are chunks. I mean, well, let's look at these diamonds though. We can look at these diamonds. These diamonds don't seem all that bad. They don't seem all that bad. I mean, I mean, come on, come on. We got Kyle Lowry there. They say that might be the troll. It's Apollo right there. I don't know McGlure like that, but he's a center power forward. I would, I would hope that He's uh seven foot, but who knows? Who in the world knows? And then Tim Hardaway is in there at the point guard, shooting guard spot also with a Mono Ginobili. These are not really troll. Mono ain't no, ain't no joke. And that's the Mono with, with the hair. Maybe he got the ball spot. Ball spot Mono is different, different, different. Tim Hardaway is a different beast too. Uh, don't sleep on him. It's just all gonna come down to what these jump shots are looking like on these diamond players. So I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't put too much pressure on on 2K at this point, just right now at this point. But I mean, I, all in all, I feel like it's a W out here. I feel like uh, the community is happy with what we see. They they're ready to swipe that. They're ready to swipe that card here. Take my money. Just take my money. Shut up and take my money. Not me though. I'm not I'm not here for it yet. 
I'm not really gonna uh gonna just jump at buying these. I don't think you should jump at buying these too quick. Maybe spend you know a little something that you put aside for them if you have some aside for them. If you can afford it, I mean, hey. I'm not going to be mad. The lineups are struggling. This man's lineup is struggling. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. There is a, there's actually a lot going on right now. 2K is giving up some butter. We're going to no look from uh, this is actually one of my favorite duos right here. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. That's poetry in motion. Do you know who that is? You do not know who that is. You don't know. That's white chocolate himself, Jason Williams. That's white chocolate himself. Jason Williams. Um, I'm going to let you know first and foremost with a no look dish to none other than Sacramento's own Chris the Weber. Big four, Mr. Timeout himself getting above the rim off the no look feed from Jason Williams. I'm going to leave y'all with a little bit of that poetry in motion. Y'all be cool. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to be back here when it's time to be back here for more. And that just may be sooner than you think. Kobe! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.